Create and share a library of layer and patch components with your team and keep everyone up to date by using an origami system. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the steps to create an origami system by adding components to a system maker. We'll then show how to publish the system and share it with others. If you haven't already, review the Create a Component tutorial before starting this one. Download the tutorial starter assets to follow along as we build an origami system. In order to distribute components with an origami system, we first need to create a system maker. Here, you'll be able to add and manage components, set relevant information, and publish updates. Let's start by opening Origami Studio, selecting File from the top menu, and clicking New System. This will open a file system window. For this example, let's name our system Custom Components and save to the desktop. This will create a new folder on the desktop where we save origami documents containing our components in a .origami system maker file. After saving, you'll see the System Maker window appear. Here, we'll enter meta information for the system, such as its name, description, and its icons. Begin by selecting the name field and entering Custom Components. The next row is a system identifier value. This is a unique ID that will associate our components with this system. Type in an abbreviated version of the system name, CC, without any spaces. The author's name will be displayed on the Origami System installer file, allowing a point of contact for any future feedback. Type your name into this author field. The version number makes it clear to users of the system whether they are using the latest version. Set the initial version number to 0.1. As you update the system in the future, increment this version number and anyone with the system installed will receive updates and be prompted to upgrade old documents. The description is also displayed to people when they open the system to install, so make sure this describes any useful notes about your system. For this example system, we'll simply use a collection of regularly used custom components by your name. An icon will make your system's components stand out. It will appear in the layer library, layer list, patch editor, and the system installer. So feel free to be creative. Drag and drop the icon files from the create system starting folder onto the icon placeholders. The icon should be grayscale images exported at four different sizes as indicated. Save the system before continuing on. The components section at the bottom of the window is where we can add and remove components. It will list all the origami documents and components that have been added to our system. Let's add a new document to the system. Click the plus button at the bottom right of the components section. This will open a new origami document, which will be our working file. Open the file labeled button from the downloaded create system starting folder. Copy the document component from the file and then paste it into the new origami document. Save the document as button. It's important that the document is saved and inside the system folder, so the document and its components are linked to this system. Once saved, click on the Open System Maker button in the top right-hand corner of the interface. Note, anytime this button is visible from an origami document, this denotes that the file is part of an origami system. The System Maker should come back up, and you will now see that the button is now part of the System Maker. Adding previously built components to your system couldn't be easier in an origami. In this example, let's take the remaining two files, Post and Profile, from the Create System Starting folder and drag them into the Custom Components folder. Go back to the System Maker file, and you will now see the two components have automatically been added to the system. Note, this only works for document components within the file. If there are other library components in the file, they will be ignored, in other words, not be able to be published as part of the system, but may be embedded as part of a component. Once all the components have been added to the system maker, we need to publish all the metadata and components into an installer file. To publish the system, click the Publish System button in the top right of the screen. The published system must be saved outside of the system folder. Otherwise, all of the published components will appear in the system maker, creating duplicates. Move up one level to the desktop and create a new folder called Published Systems and save it there. After the publishing has completed, an origami system installer file will have been created. This is the file you can share with others. To locate this file in Finder, click the Reveal in Finder button. To test it, install the system using the system installer which we just published. Double click on the custom components.origami system file. This will open the system installer. This window displays a preview of the components in the system and all the meta information we entered earlier. To install, simply click the Install System button at the top right of the window. Upon clicking, you will be presented with two options in a contextual menu. 
move to user patch folder, and install from current location. By selecting install from current location, we will be accessing the system directly rather than a copy that lives in our user library. Click install from current location. You will be presented with a confirmation window. Now that the system has been installed, close the installer and click done on the system maker. If you plan on sharing the system with others, we'd recommend publishing the system on a shared folder or a file sharing service like Dropbox or Google Drive. When the system is installed from a shared location, everyone will receive updates to the system and existing documents with older components will be prompted to upgrade. Let's check out our newly installed component by creating a new document and adding the new system button component. First, quit and reopen Origami Studio to reload the libraries with our new components and open a new document. Open the layer library and type custom components to search for our new system components. Select the button component and press enter to add it to the layer list. That's it. We have created our own system that can be easily distributed to other users. To add more components to the system, just repeat the steps in the adding components to the system section and republish the system. We can also add patches to the systems. Visit the components section in the documentation to find out more.